Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and this is the 2019 Kia Stinger 20th Anniversary Edition. Now if you're watching outside of Canada, you have no idea why I'm calling it the 20th Anniversary Edition because the Stinger, of course, hasn't been around 20 years and if you're in the USA, Kia hasn't been around 20 years, but in Canada, this is the 20th year for Kia in Canada and they have a couple special edition cars. They have a special edition Kia Soul and they have this special edition flagship model the Kia Stinger. So what's unique about it? Well, we're gonna show you. This is a walk around video. We'll do a regular walk around video of the Kia Stinger. Maybe you haven't seen some of our other walk arounds. We will discuss what's in the car, but really what makes it unique, this exterior color, which is ghost gray, mixed with the red Napa leather interior and a few other little details. You've never been able to get this color before in Canada, and you've also never been, you probably won't be able to get it again in the future, at least not anytime soon. The other thing you'll notice is unique wheels. So let's take a look at the 2019 Kia Stinger Anniversary Edition. All right, we'll start up front. And first of all, if you want to know which Stinger this is, even though the wheels, some people confuse them with the four-cylinder Stinger, the GT line, this is the GT Limited in Canada. This is the top of the line, everything on it, Kia Stinger. So you, the wheels look similar, but they are the 19-inch wheels. They are staggered front and rear, so the rear wheels are uh, larger than the front wheels. And you do have the 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 under the hood. This is the performance model. This is the car you want if you want everything in the Stinger. We'll take a look out front. No real changes for the anniversary edition out here. You still got that dark uh, chrome look here. Dark chrome, or sorry, dark chrome around the side there. Black trim here. You got the LED lights. They, of course, turn with you as you turn the wheel, and uh, they will aim where you're uh, headed. One of the few cars we have with LED signal lights front and rear. And just the typical Kia Stinger stuff. You've got the surround view camera on this car. So you've got a little tiny camera panel up here. And uh, what that does is it gives you a bird's eye view of the car as well as just a backup camera. And of course, when you're driving slowly, you can set it just on the front side. So if you're approaching a curb, you can make sure you see the front of your car and you don't hit that curb with the lower front balance here. And you can keep that looking brand new for a long time. You've got a smart cruise control panel here, autonomous emergency braking. So with smart cruise control, of course, uh, it'll keep the distance between the cars in front of you. And it has stop and go as well. So what that means is if you can set the cruise at 110 kilometers an hour, or let's say 100 to be within the laws, 100 kilometers an hour, uh, as somebody pulls out in front of you, if they're going a little slower, the car will slow down to them, but including in stop and go traffic. And a lot of people really appreciate this feature in stop and go traffic because it'll bring you right down to a stop and accelerate again for you. And in slow moving or stop and go traffic, you can set that cruise control and the car will accelerate and brake on its own for you. Of course, you have to pay attention. It's not a self-driving feature, but it works really great and takes the stress out of those long drives. And that's part of what this panel here is for. It's sort of hidden within the grill. Typical Kia stuff here, some styling details here. Nothing really changed other than this color. And the color, of course, is impossible to film. The ghost gray color, some people confuse it for maybe the matte gray colors that you see on other uh, luxury cars. It still has a nice shine to it, and that part does show up in the video, but it almost looks like a matte color up close with a shine. It's kind of a hard color to describe. Like I said, very difficult to get on film. You have to come in and see it, and of course, we'll have it in our showroom. It's available for sale as well. Let's take a look at the back of the car, and we'll work our way through the car, and we'll get to the driver's seat, talk about some of the technology. So we can spend a lot of time talking about styling of the car, but one of the things I really like about the styling is it's practical, and practical features are everywhere in this car. You'll notice the lights started blinking and I didn't touch the car. What I've done is I've set up the smart trunk. I didn't wave my foot underneath here or anything else like our competitors do. I stood two feet on the ground, approached the car with a, with a proximity key in my pocket, and the trunk opens. And I think that's the greatest thing, one of the greatest things about the Stinger. This is a super practical car. You have a huge SUV size opening to fit your gear in here and you've got a cargo net to hold your stuff down when you're driving athletically. It's a super practical sports car. And that styling makes a difference. You've got a nice long slope to the aerodynamic, to help with aerodynamics. You've got a sharp uh, spoiler kind of built into the system here. Pinched lights out here with nice, or pinched uh, lights with LED lights all throughout here. Again, you'll notice they were LED signal lights on the back. Quad exhaust tips, a nice dark uh, black, uh, piano black type look there. And again, that great uh, ghost gray color. But that sloped tailgate really adds to the, the design of the car as well as a practicality. And I think that's the real thing with the Kia Stinger. Everybody's moving away from sedans towards SUVs, but the reality is sedans can be fun to drive if they're designed from the ground up as a sports car and people want the practicality of an SUV. Well, for those few times you need to take something extra big, you can fold the seats down and fit something huge in here because you've got a nice big opening. The rest of the time, this works exactly like a sedan and it makes a ton of sense. So the hatchback body style on the Kia Stinger, really, really practical. Let's take a look at the back seat now. All right, with the rear door open, you start to see glimpses of that red interior. Now you don't see 
a lot of people do this in a sports car when they're doing a review or a, an example of the car. I'm about six feet tall and you can see I easily got into the back of this car. This wheel humps here, they don't intrude much into the door. Even though the roof line looks low, it comes up inside the car. And I've got plenty of headroom above my head. I've got lots of legroom, lots of knee room. In fact, this seat comes back when you turn the car off. So this is further back than I would need it. I've got enough tow room to stick my size 11 feet underneath the seat in front. You've got climate uh, control vents back here that are mimicking the front or the aircraft style vents out front. You've got a 12 volt and a USB port. Back, the back of the seats are here are plastic, and I think that's really smart. With this Napa leather, the nice soft leather, you don't have to worry about maybe kids coming in here and scratching the back of the seat. The plastic makes a ton of sense. It keeps the uh, scratches and dirt away, and it easily wipes down. you still got nets in here that are uh, nice uh, netted nets, and uh, they can hold all the stuff that you would want to hold. Laptops, computers, magazines, map books. Of course, we're never going to carry a map book again, are we? Anyways, back here you've got some carbon fiber trim on the door, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. The nice silver speakers, so you've got three speakers in the door, a black one down here and two silver uh, detail ones up there. The rear seats in this car have three levels of seat heating, so your guests in the outboard seating positions will be just as com comfortable as in the front with those three levels of seat heating in the winter. And basically the Stinger is designed to be cozy but very very comfortable. The extra large sunroof you can see out of from back here. The roof, the headliner is all soft touch, uh, almost a suede material. And it's not just a suede material to the touch, it's got some cushion to it. So when you touch it yourself, you can feel it's got a little bit of, uh, you can press in and it's got a nice soft uh, feel to it in both the texture as well as in pushing in. You've got a little bit of a pillow type feel to that. Overall, the look back here, very different, very athletic. It's a sportier car for us, of course, and you can see that in the shapes and the designs, but it's also very comfortable. So if you're taking clients out or family, they'll definitely fit in here and they'll definitely feel comfortable. Let's take a look at the driver's seat. We'll talk about all kinds of technology features and of course, comfort up there as well. All right, we talked comfort in the back of the car. Let's talk comfort in the front of the car. So of course, this seat can be moved all kinds of different ways. This panel here will turn the car, at least to the on position, We'll turn the climate console system off a little bit. Once it's on, now the car, I didn't start the car, I just turned it to the on position. I can power the seat. There's a lot of things I can do. I can move this panel here out and back down. Turn the climate system off. So if I have longer legs, like I kind of do, I can bring it out and support me. If I have shorter legs, it can come in and uh, give me some extra or shorter seat for someone who maybe doesn't want all of that support. The other thing that's nice is I'm not a huge wide guy. Sometimes they say, uh, Certain cars are built for the American market. What that means is built for a little bit bigger people. I'm kind of a smaller person. The side panels here, or the side bolsters, can come in and pinch you through a power control right here. So they come right up to a guy my size and even someone smaller and can make you, can squeeze the side. So when you're driving around corners, the seats are gonna hold you in place no matter what size you are. If you're a bigger person, you'll still fit. It'll widen out and be comfortable. If you're a smaller person, they'll snug up against you and you won't be crashing around the seat. I think it's a huge detail in a GT car. And of course the GT car stands for Grand Touring. It isn't just about sport. You could do a lot of things to make the car feel sporty, but it wouldn't be comfortable. Grand Touring is sporty, but over a long drive, and this car is very comfortable in a lot of ways. You've got a powered tilt and telescopic wheel. It goes a long ways in, a long ways out, and of course, when I get in the car, it'll tilt and move for uh, where I need it. There are memory seats in the car, two doubles of memory seats, so you can change that up uh, based on who's driving as well. So a lot of ways to get comfortable, and that's the big thing. It's an, in addition to being a sports car, it's a very comfortable luxury car. All right, let's talk uh, features for the, tw the 20th anniversary edition. What do we see here? First of all, you've got the red interior. We'll show you some pictures of that here. The door panels themselves are red with a nice silver uh, handle piece on it. Silver uh, uh, d decals or de um, details anyways to the speakers, at least two of the three speakers in the door. Same thing as the back. There's also a carbon fiber piece in the door up top. And that carbon fiber piece continues down the center console here down by the gear shifter here. Still have that electronic shifter. It's kind of that unique uh, stubby kind of look, really unique look. It's the only car we have with that style of shifter. Uh, the only other cars with electronic shifters that I know of right now are our EV models and they're a dial style shifter. So very cool here. You've got your drive modes down here, uh, five drive modes, four of them including a custom mode you can customize and you can just turn that to set that up. One cool feature, this car's got launch control. If you've never seen that, uh, just know this car does have it. It's a very fun feature and I uh, had a customer coming in telling me how much he enjoys that today on his Kia Stinger. Everything else inside, 
typical luxury. Like I mentioned the, the uh, soft headliner before, you've got stitching just about everywhere. The seats look great. Uh, you gotta want the red color, of course, in the anniversary edition, but the stitching, the perforations, everything, of course, the seats are three levels of heated seats, but also three levels of ventilation in these seats. So if you're uh, like me and in the hot summer, you're just a guy who sweats, you can turn on the uh, seat ventilation, that'll keep you from sweating, keep you comfortable, uh, works really, really well. In the winter, in addition to the heated seats, you've got the heated steering wheel. We talked about that surround view camera, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. It's not just a backup camera, it gives you a bird's eye view of the car, and you can customize that view for a whole bunch of different ways. If you just want to look at behind the car, in front of the car, or beside the car if you're parallel parking, you can prioritize which screen you want up there. As we look across the dash, typical Kia Stinger stuff, you've got these aircraft style gauges here. Uh, you can turn those little knobs in the middle and when you turn those knobs that actually shuts the vent off. So a little uh, hint if you never knew that about the Kia Stinger. We get to the driver's area, you've got uh, clear digital gauge or clear analog gauges, which is I think what you want to see in a sports car. In the center is a nice big digital display and that can be customized to all kinds of different things, drive modes, everything. We should probably do a complete video on what's inside there. If you want that, let us know in the comments below that you're looking to see what's in that uh, driver information display because we can show you all kinds of things in there and it'd probably be a 10 minute video in itself. Automatic headlights, they turn on automatically when it gets dark outside. Automatic wipers, they turn automatically when the, when the uh, rain falls. And I should mention about those headlights, we mentioned that they steer with you at night. It works really well. We've done an entire video on this car of the Kia Stinger at night. You should watch that video if you're interested in the lighting. Uh, one thing about those headlights that steer, if you don't want them to steer, just take your headlights off of auto, leave them to on, and they will stay in, uh, focused in front of you. And if you've only been using the headlights on the on position, try it in auto and you'll see them steer with you. So they steer and level out. Really smart system there. Blind spot detection, lane keeping assist, uh, rear cross traffic alert, all sorts of safety features. Uh, that's probably another video as well. And again, we can talk about those as well if you want to do that. If you want to do another video, let us know. Steering wheel controls, we mentioned that smart cruise control. We've got paddle shifters here, which on a sports car actually makes sense. Uh, sometimes they put them in these large SUVs and people never use them there. But I think on a sports car where you keep your hands on the wheel, makes a ton of sense. And this is a D cut steering wheel. So all of our GT type cars, uh, the Kia Soul GT line, they've got that D cut steering wheel as well. The Stinger has that D-cut steering wheel. So a nice small wheel, which I think is what you want if you're a sporty uh, driver, the D-cut wheel, kind of unique. This Kia Stinger really is our flagship car. It's a great car. Details through the middle, silver uh, buttons up top, cl automatic climate control down low. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, I don't think I mentioned that yet. That's of course available on the nice big uh, screen here. And in Canada, we have Uvo Intelligence. So that's a system where you can start the car on your smartphone, you can find uh, find the car, you can uh, open the, the, unlock the doors, all kinds of features uh, on that system. And of course, you can see the three little buttons up here. One thing they've also included is in the three buttons up here, you have three extra buttons for home link buttons. You can still open your garage door on the mirror for 2019 in the Stinger. Of course, the mirror here is auto-dimming, so are the outside mirrors. They're auto-dimming as well. You're getting all the features that you could dream of in a European sports, sports sedan right here in the Kia Stinger. And of course, this was designed uh, under a design team led by uh, the former Audi designer, Peter Schreier. He was the head designer there. And Alex Bierman, he is the uh, former uh, former engineer for the BMW M division in their handling and powertrain. He took care of handling and powertrain for this car. So you've got two European sports sedan experts that made this car, and that's why it's as good as it is. Let's finish the video up. So when we talk about how great this car is, and we talk about the 20th anniversary of Kia in Canada, we should also mention that something Kia probably never dreamed about 20 years ago, this is the reigning Canadian car of the year. So it's a really big deal to celebrate, and I think a 20th anniversary car uh, celebrating the reigning car of the year. And I should mention the Kia Forte was also a finalist for the award, finishing uh, top three. So we have a Kia Stinger, the reigning car of the year in Canada, the, the Kia uh, Forte reigning small car of the year, and also the third place finisher for overall car of the year. Kia has come a long ways in 20 years. Nobody pictured this car 20 years ago. It's a great car. If you want to come in, come on down to Brantford Kia and take a look at it. And if you can't come in because you're nowhere near our area, that's great too. Let us know in the comments what you want to see, what you want to know, because that helps us talk with our customers. And we'd love to hear from you what you think about the 20th anniversary Kia Stinger in Canada.